to my channel and I am so excited for today's video. I finally got my hands on the Desi Perkins and Katie products. Um, they collab with Dose of Colors and this is actually the first time I've ever tried anything from Dose of Colors so I've heard nothing but great things about those products and so when Desi and Katie were collabing and I found out about it I was just ecstatic. I couldn't wait to get my hands on their products. Unfortunately, the other launches I was not able to um, get them, but this time I was lucky enough and I was able to get some of the products. Some of the products that I really wanted were already sold out. So I wanted to go ahead and do a first impressions since I just got the package today and I said, why not? Let's go ahead and film a video because I am so happy about this. So. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. I'm going to show you the packaging and then jump into trying them and putting them on my face because I can't wait. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and start with the eye look. Now, I'm not gonna do anything like super crazy. I just really wanna test these out and I don't even know which color I wanna use from these four shades. They all look so beautiful, I wanna use them all. But I think I'm gonna end up using Harpoon. That's like the one that's really calling my name right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my transition color. Oh, no, not yet. First, I need to go ahead and prime my eyelids. So I'm going to do that real quick. Hello beauties. I wanted to jump on here because I had a little bit of issues when I was recording this. Um, my outro accidentally got deleted. So I just wanted to jump on here while I was doing my eye look. And just wanted to tell you exactly how I felt about these products. There's no surprise. As you can see, I am really enjoying all of the products that I decided to purchase. I really missed out on getting like the lip gloss with the gold flex in it. However, I'm hoping and praying that um, they will still have that later on. I know that they just had their la last launch, but I'm just hoping that they decide to keep some of these or at least get the lip gloss back. In regards to the um, eyeshadows, they make such a huge statement. Um, I said it a couple times here in the video. I just felt like this, the camera was not giving it justice. It wasn't doing it justice. It just was beautiful. Like, all of them look so beautiful. They're so glam. And they definitely do make a huge statement. It's great for the holidays. It's absolutely great for birthdays for anniversaries it's great for everything in regards to the lip the lip colors they're such really pretty colors they work absolutely perfect with all looks and I haven't seen any nude shades quite like this like these two and they just feel so comfortable so I just thought that Every single product that I purchased was definitely worth it. The highlighter, you guys will see, it is so good. I was going crazy with the highlighter. I'm sorry, guys. I literally pretty much covered my whole face with highlighter. That's how much I was loving it. <laughs> but right now, I'm going in with Harpoon, and there are two shadows that they suggest using um, wet, which is Harpoon and um, I want to say 
It's Harpoon and Seuss is the ones that they recommend using wet. And they also recommend you using your fingers with all of these because that's like the best application. They say that you get the best payoff using your fingers. And that's why I was using my finger. Now I normally use my fingers with shimmer colors anyways. However, it's up to you. I know that there's a few people out there that weren't too happy about that just because there's a lot of females out there that have long nails. However, I don't see it being a problem whatsoever. I did also go in with a um, flat synthetic brush to apply it closer to where my cut crease was. And yes. This is so pretty. I seriously don't think the camera's doing it justice. It's so beautiful in person. Wow. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Look, this eye now. <laughs> And the palette that I used to create this look is the uh, Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. It was on hand and it's one of my favorites. I can't put it down so I had to use it. I also added a nice fierce wing to this look. I thought it made the look look super nice. And um, I wanted to explain that I am such a fool. I was recording late at night and I completely forgot to add the eyeliner and the lower lash mascara yeah I know it would have made the look look so much better I can't believe I forgot but I just wanted to add that so you guys can I, I'm sure some of you will notice so I really do hope that you enjoyed this video please give it a huge thumbs up and if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button Come on, you know you want to. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. All right, guys. So now we get to try the highlighter. Yay. Can you tell how excited I am? I'm very excited. So far, I'm loving this look. Um, just loving all the glitter I'm just I really don't feel like the camera's doing this look justice I swear it looks so beautiful in person so beautiful I'm obsessed I am so glad that I picked these up I'm these definitely make a statement I love 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 all of the shadows that they chose I haven't I haven't um, gotten to play with uh, which one is it turbo Sun but Hopefully I get to play with that one soon. I'm sure it's just as amazing as the other three shades that I used. So now let's go ahead and play with the highlighter. I was super excited about the highlight. I was excited about the whole thing. We know this. But I just really love how the highlighters look super... They look like super wet on the skin. And I think that's... Oh, I love that like wet looking highlight look so I'm gonna go in with the same brush that I always use to highlight if I can find it. okay so I'm gonna go ahead and use the same highlighter brush that I always use and it's the Morphe M501 brush that looks like this and I'm not gonna apply it wet um, I do usually get it wet later or after I apply a little bit but We'll go in first without it being wet. Oh my god! This is so pretty! Do you see this glow? Do you see the... Oh my god! If you do not have these highlighters, oh, you're missing out. <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit. I'm gonna get, 
Okay, I'm gonna set my face, and then when my skin's drying a little bit, I'm gonna apply a little more highlight. I can't imagine it being more intense than this. Oh my god. Do you see this? I know I'm going crazy with the highlight, but I'm just obsessed. In love, in love, in love with all of this so far. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. I knew I was gonna love it. I knew it. Okay, I'm gonna go with more creamer, please, on the lips. And I don't wanna line my lips just because I don't want it, another color to in, like interfere with the actual color or the actual shade that I'm using. So I'm just gonna, no liner, lip liner. And I'm gonna put a little bit of the um, no shade, like in the middle, just to see what it looks like. 